Hey, my friends, look at my little banana umbrella right here. Oh my God, a little bit of rain in the food forest today. Look at this, my friends. Well, this is paradise, and guess what? Everybody can have it. It's time to take the poisons out and grow food instead of lawns. We created the most important book for humanity. Is that an understatement? I'm here with Jim Gale, the co-author of this book. With me, I'm also a co-author, Corey Endrelot, and we are here to share a message with the world that we believe to be the strategy, the plan to change the world. Is that an understatement, Mr. Jim Gale? Well, first of all, thank you, Corey, for that awesome question. I just got done... Uh picking some lemongrass because we've had some rains and there's a few more mosquitoes than normal but a little lemongrass on the body guess what no mosquitoes isn't that nuts nature is the most important plant right so where i'm sitting i'm sitting in a place that i think of as my little garden of eden right whether that was a metaphor a story or a real place here's the truth of the matter is it can be and it will be when we come together and we take the poisons out and we organize and we love our land again, when we steward our land again, when we simply enjoy living with our natural system again. That is written in the book. It is described how we get there in the book. So this is the solution. The book helps, you know, point an arrow to it. Yes, and we have fantastic contributors to this book, such as McKinley Halati. You know, he's a sustainable design leader. We got Kevin Fretz, who's a leader in the organics industry, doing a lot of great stuff, amazing technology and products to help people, helping farmers. Unbelievable. A lot of people are like, what? You can do this? Same thing with Pat Militich. You know, he's challenging the chemist. He's saying, this is what we can do. We can convert heavy metals into fatty acids. He's a UFC world champion. You know, the guy saw everybody getting sick around him, and now he wants to heal the world. He's now known as a soil savior. we got Joel Salatin, who's a best time selling author contributing to this book. Same thing with Marjorie Wildcraft. And, you know, they're both leaders in their own fields. Joel Salatin is an iconic farmer and uh, Marjorie is a preparedness leader. And we also have Rowdy Mayer, who's also known as Tag, and he's a successful land developer. He's literally creating towns and helping people become off grid and living sustainably sustainable lives, which a lot of people want to live. A lot of people see the problems in the world. What are those problems? Cancer, disease, you know, heart attacks. I mean, gosh, we have, you know, diabetes, obesity, uh, but we also have environmental problems or we have, you know, climate change or uh, EMF radiation or, you know, you name it, the list goes on and on. People study the, the problems all day long, but what are the solutions? And so we created a, a book, a format that can be shareable, that is easy to read, that is for pretty much every single reader you, your friends, your family, to help detail this plan to save humanity because we need it now more than ever, right? Solutions, not problems. And we're very public with this. You know, as, as Jim even shared, you know, this is, he's living that solution. We're not just talking about it. And this book is timeless and universal. It will last way beyond our time, but it's needed in a time such as what we live in right now. Boom. Uh, very well said. Nature, God's design, will save humanity. And this book points to exactly how we integrate and we cooperate and we simply work with God's design again, like we're meant to do. And that is the only thing that will save humanity is the wisdom of God, of source, of nature. Right. And if you came from a spot on the other side of the world where you learned a different language, do I hate you for that? <laughs> no, let's all come together and love each other, love the land. You know, the best thing we could ever do, the most selfish thing we could ever do is simply serve each other, because by doing so, we serve ourselves. People are reciprocal. In fact, there was a story I heard about what is hell like and heaven like, right? And they go down to hell and there's all these people there with these spoons. And the spoons are six feet long and their arms are only three feet long. And there's food all over the place. But the one rule is they have to eat with that spoon. And in hell, they're all starving, right? Well, then you go to heaven and it's 
the, almost the same kind of rules. You can only use this spoon to eat. Well, in heaven, they're all feeding each other and they live in paradise. <laughs> so when we start thinking that way again and acting that way again and knowing and understanding that way again, working with nature, which is a free energy system, Tesla eats your heart out, right? Free energy is everywhere around me. Yes. Yeah. And so whether you're a corporation, you know, you're a politician, you're in the military, you, you have a business of your own, you're in the medical field, you're worried about what's going on in general, you know, you're passionate about trying to help people and you're trying to see, well, what are these solutions that I'm not really taught about in school or, you know, we don't really know about that's out there or, you know, maybe even you're homeless, you don't have much and you're like, what could I do? The systems have been oppressing me or I don't know how to start, you know, trying to live on my own and you know I want to try to make a more of a living and maybe I want to help inspire other people so they could do the same thing too I mean whatever it is we break it down from exactly the position that you are in what exactly you can do very practically yes since the book is called natural intelligence we talk about this idea called AI which consists of many ideas right but there is one idea that we're sharing here in this book and that one idea is very quite special unlike the AI. <laughs> and we can work with the AI. We can actually bring this to the AI and it can become even better once we understand it. Yeah. And it being God's design, being GI, right? God's intelligence. And I'll take that any time over AI. What we are talking about being that all wealth is derived from nature. What we are talking about is the most profitable solution. This is not only the art of war. This is not only the idea whose time has come. This is not only the way to win and create peace on earth. This is the ultimate profit center, right? To transition our land again back and to store our financial wealth instead of in the banks that are owned and run by our adversary, you put your wealth into the system. You compost the fiat and then every single one of these plants has went up in value by hundreds or thousands of percentage points in the last two and a half years, right? Like epic value. And that's just in cash value, but now in life value. So yeah, this is profitable <laughs> to say the least. Thank you, Jim. I want you to share your story on, on how you came to be here. And before I get into how we met and start creating this work together, I just want you to quickly create a synopsis for the viewer here. You got it. Thank you. Thank you, brother. So they call me nature boy growing up. I always love everything to do with nature. I had frogs in my pockets. I always had some kind of animal at home that I was taking care of, uh, taking care of. And um, my favorite TV show back in the day was Tarzan when I was a little kid, right? The cartoon. And I'm going to sneeze here in a second. It was. So <laughs> <laughs> and by the way, that whole Tarzan thing, uh, it's coming. Oh, oh, I love sneezing. God, that's awesome. Um, so that's what we need now. We need Tarzan. We need to work and gather the strength, the infinite power of God's system. And we need to use that to basically triumph, prevail, win the war, win the game over the evil and the poison. Right? So Tarzan, good job helping me see that when I was five years old. Mm. And then... Um, I, uh, the, the Ranger Rick, I mean, it was just Mutual of Omaha's Wild Kingdom. Anyway, so then um, about, about when I was 19, I went through two really tough years. My uh, senior year in high school, I completely failed. My junior year as well, um, barely got through school. And um, then my college wrestling coach, Gary, Dr. Gary Rushing, said, everybody, team, time to write your goals and I had been actually asked by my parents to quit wrestling because they thought I needed to focus on school because my school was so bad and I was a daydreamer I could not pay attention to what was in front of the room um, and uh, I said no I think I've got some left in me so I get to college and my college coach says all right team write your goals and at first I looked at it as homework and I didn't want to do it but when I started writing my mind, everything that I had believed and it all kind of expanded. And through that process, I ended up becoming a four-time All-American and national champion. And I learned that anybody 
no matter where you are, you can start with a belief where you can conceive it and believe it. And then you just take steps towards it. And if you can conceive it and believe it, you absolutely can achieve it. So that's what led me to here, knowing that faith encourages the armor of God, knowing that there's no other way, there's no other master, but truth and honesty and integrity and service. And so uh, here we are. Beautiful, Jim. And, you know, for myself, uh, you and I ran into the synchronicity to meeting each other and writing this book and meeting so many others who are living the solution. And, and you know, these celebrities or these these other book authors that came together. I mean, did we expect to meet them? Did we expect to write this? No, it happened out of just an amazing uh, intelligence of us putting together our passions, our care about the world, and then our solutions and saying, well, here is our piece of the puzzle. What's your piece of the puzzle? Oh, wait, if we combine our efforts we become infinitely more powerful which is what yes. we want the reader to join us with you know join us in in our efforts and share your solutions with us you know that this is not limited to the work that we have created but we have created the foundation we created the blueprint yeah. so you can help us uh, and we can help you but you know my journey I wrote books myself I'm um, going through life uh, with very uh, close-knit family, you know, very moral. We had a lot of fun, a lot of partying, a lot of games, right? But uh, I, I saw growing up in the world, a lot of kids around my age were depressed. They had anxiety. They had a lot of uh, mental struggles that they were fighting with. And I would just be there for them to help them. And my parents were always just there for me. So for me just to be there for them, it helped them quite a bit. But I was always curious, well, why do they feel the way they feel, right? And, and why are people getting diseased all around me how come i'm not taught about nutrition or ingredients i started reading the ingredient packages of in, in the grocery store wow i mean I, I was just like starting to research and starting to get really curious about the world around me i started journaling and asking myself a bunch of questions and some things i just couldn't wrap my head around you know it's like why why is the world the way it is and and it's like we're, we're being taught all this stuff on the news about like, oh my gosh, this problem is coming here, this problem is coming there. We're in space the next day, the next day, you know, it's like, what's going on? So um, as a kid, it can be really pressuring. Um, and it's like what growing up in this world of technology and people are like glued to their screens. We're more than that. I realized we're much more than that. I had a very close nature connection. I grew up in the mountains of Northeast uh, Pennsylvania, and that really inspired me to have this message that that I, I really I bring to you here, which is that nature is the answer, right? Across all fields of life. And that doesn't mean technology and AI is not the answer. It's to say that the that was born of nature. You know, that that came from the result of our intelligence. You know, we basically give it our ability by writing to it, by talking to it every day, by by programming it. And when we realize that then AI can be one of the greatest tools for our natural intelligence. But um, unfortunately, a lot of kids nowadays are growing up into the world where that's that's what they're given right away. And so we are realizing many people are fearful of that technology. But as I grew up in that, that realm of technology, I had firsthand experience of people who were just delve deep into that world and didn't know how to escape it. But also people who were like old timers, you know, who were like, man, what is this technology? You know, what is that? Yeah. And, and soon um, that type of bridge may be lost. And so the ancient wisdom uh, is going to come back to resurface for humanity to realize their roots. And this book serves as that timeless example to show people what are their roots? You know, what is that natural intelligence that created that artificial intelligence? And I and I met you, Jim, because me having the message nature is the answer would eventually lead me to you who is living, you know, and, in nature yeah. off grid. Yeah, and vice versa. It's perfect. It's, it's beautiful. So thank you so much, Jim. You know how we made this. It was amazing. You know, we came together. I was like, I was thinking about writing a book about this. And you're like, oh, yeah, I want to write a book about this. And then it's like, well, it just happened. It's just it's so in the flow. And thank you for everything you're doing, Corey. It's amazing. You're blowing my mind. You're you're accomplishing what I have failed to accomplish for 20 years. I started I hired a, my first ghostwriter when I was about 39 or 38 years old <laughs> and, and it failed, fail, fail. And now it just flowed. It, it was just like yes. that with your help, it's just been amazing. Absolutely. So 
If anybody wants the book, look up Natural Intelligence to Technology of Peace, okay? Anywhere, any of your favorite retailers online, but also your local bookstore. You can actually go to the desk and ask them to order it for you, and they should be able to do so. So again, it's Natural Intelligence to Technology of Peace. And I'm Corey Edmund Andrelot here with Jim Gale. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. And I hope that you guys enjoy the book, share it with your friends and family, and let's change the world together. Together we win, my friends. Let's do it. Thank you for watching this video. We set up a Give, Send, Go actually with this book on purpose. So that way, if people want to contribute to the projects that this book is going to contribute to and potentially other projects and just getting the book out there in general or just for the work that I've done over the past four years and haven't really asked for any money, uh, I actually set up this Give, Send, Go for the purpose that we can be very transparent and clear where this money is going. Jim is going to be giving it to the Council of 12 that he he set up with world leaders and experts. I'm going to be trying to create my project here in Florida, but also helping to share the word with the book in general and other projects that I have going on that are gigantic. So I thank you very much for watching this video and be sure to check out the Give, Send, Go also, we have a document, a one page document that leads people to both the book and the Give, Send, Go, and this could be shared everywhere. This helps people understand what is the problem and what is the solution as simple as you can get it. And not only that, we have it in every single format for different audiences, such as churches and prisons and schools, right? Or even politicians, it's all there. And you can go to nita.one for that information. That's nita.one, nita one. Nature is the answer. Natural intelligence is the answer. And you are intelligent. Don't forget it.